town While I'm slowly heading back to my apartment I'm not asking for your thoughts I'm just thinking out loud in the darkness There's no point cause we both know Ooh, From here there's nowhere to go Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel I look very shiny today and I'm not actually quite sure why I have just put a little bit of flawless filter on, so maybe that's why. I'm not really wearing much makeup at the minute, <laughs> but I am shiny. I've just made myself my morning brew. For the past three days, I've actually been having tea instead of coffee. Who am I? I think it's just because I love using my teapot. <laughs> like I've never used a teapot so much in all of my life but I just love it and I feel like it makes the tea taste amazing and I'm not I, I, I don't know what is it because it brews like it brews in the teapot for like five minutes is that what it is but mm, mm. honestly it just makes the tea taste amazing welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog I thought I've had a proper like to and fro with this week's um, vlogs. So if you can hear my boiler that has just decided to come on for no reason. Only because this week is such a busy week. Um, I was in work yesterday. I've got today, tomorrow and Thursday off. And then I'm in work on Friday. And then straight from work on Friday, I'm actually going to Telford for the FM conference. And I'm not back until Sunday evening. Like Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Depends on when I set off because I'm driving down. And so this week has just been like pretty intense because... A lot of our DIY stuff for the kitchen makeover has arrived and you go, you guys know me. I literally can't say no. I, I it literally taken all of my willpower not to start last night, but I was knackered from work and I just had a pretty chilled evening. We just had a lazy day, a lazy night with the kids, just a dead simple easy tea. And then I ended up having a bit of an early night. So I didn't do anything towards the kitchen makeover yesterday and today I am itching, absolutely itching. So I've had to do it in two parts. So today I've made a little list. Today I've got some Insta stuff that I need to get done. I need to get on top of all my reels just so that they're all done because I don't know about you guys, but I have got so much winter, like autumn winter clothing that I've bought, that I've not been able to wear because we've been having a heat wave. But you'll be glad to know it's actually raining today. So I put on my very first piece of autumn clothing, which if you saw my H&M reel, um, this, this is one of the sets. It's like a two piece coward set. It's absolutely stunning guys. It's in like this gorgeous ribbed material. Uh, I got it in the stone colour, but you can get it in the brown colour as well. And I'm tempted. I'm not going to lie. I'm tempted. I got them both in an extra small and they fit like a dream, guys. I can tell I am going to live in this. It's just so cosy and very much a bit of me. So, yeah, I've got a few things that I want to film for Instagram. And then I have made a list and so today is going to be spent basically getting everything ready for the DIY makeover. I've got a few things arriving today. Um, I've got a range parcel, a next parcel. My new Uggs are arriving today, which I'm excited about. My birthday treat. I decided to just pick 
a new pair of Uggs as my birthday treat because I do love my Uggs and I wear them all the time and I have loads of dupes. I have one pair of actual Uggs that I haven't, <laughs> I haven't wrecked. They're still going strong. But then I've got like a couple of pairs of dupes, including the ones that I'm wearing right now. These are the slipper ones from Primark. These are like my house ones. Um, but I've bought a new pair of actual Uggs as well. Um, to get me through the autumn winter season so they should be arriving today and yeah we're just gonna make a start on little bits to do with the, with the kitchen makeover I'm gonna actually paint the tiles today I think yeah I think I'm gonna get that job done because they, they, there's nothing wrong with the tiles they are painted already but they could just do with a little bit of a freshen up so I'm gonna get that done today and then I'm actually at my aunties and uncles for tea tonight um I've not seen them since I got home from holiday. It's just been so manic. Um, and my sister got back from her holiday yesterday. She went to Tunisia. And so we just decided we're going to go to my aunties and uncles for tea. So that'll be really lovely because their home is so cosy and just perfect. And yeah, it is like, it's just another home to us. We literally go in there, make ourselves a home, raid the snack drawers, raid all the brews and yeah we do love spending time with my auntie and uncle so i'm excited for that tonight and then tomorrow which will be sunday's vlog i had to think then um paul's actually off with me tomorrow so the plan is that tomorrow is going to be full-blown kitchen makeover i want to get as much done as i can tomorrow including the vinyl which i haven't yet shown and i'm not going to I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing like extraordinary. It's just a normal vinyl that you can buy from anywhere. Um, but I feel like this particular design is a little bit different. I've not seen this sort of shade, if that makes sense. Um, all will be revealed though, I promise. But yeah, I'm not going to show you that until Sunday. Oh yes. So, without further ado, grab yourself your favourite drink, grab yourself your favourite snack and get ready to spend the day with me. It's the same old sound in the same old town. Right, so you guys know that I love creating like Pinterest boards full of my ideas. Like that's usually where nine times out of 10, I get most of my ideas, especially when it comes to like how I decorate the house. So I'm gonna show you the board that I made that it's only got a few bits in, but it is exactly the sort of vibe that I'm going for with the kitchen. Now, the only thing is before obviously I, decided to definitely go with this theme i had already bought a lot of my autumn stuff and my a lot of my autumn stuff is actually orange but this is basically the idea that i have for the kitchen makeover sage green and you know what i've loved sage green for as long as i can remember but for some reason i've just never done it i think it's because i don't particularly like sage green with wood i like quite neutrals with wood um or like black accents with wood which gives which obviously gives us the clue as to what the vinyl is because it's not wood <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to quickly show you this um, pin little Pinterest board that I've made, which is basically how I would like our kitchen, dining room, snug area to look. So funnily enough, I actually ordered these tea towels from Next and a very similar throw. I actually ordered something very similar from the range, which is there, but I haven't yet properly opened I absolutely love this. I feel like that would go perfect on here. Um, I'm going to order some cushions from Shein, I think. Or if me and Paul see any nice sage cushions tomorrow, um, then I might pick them up instead. But I really like them as well. I love the different textures. But this is basically 
the look that I would love to go for. Now, don't get me wrong, our kitchen is nothing like that. Do you know what I mean? Nothing. Nothing like it. <laughs> but this is most definitely the sort of look that I would love to go for. I haven't yet chosen the paint, though. This is what I need to do. This is this is the next thing on my list for today, is to pick the perfect sage green. Now, I do feel like this is pretty much the, the one that I would like to go for. Um, and as well, one thing I'm going to have to take into consideration, these floors are both light. Our flooring isn't light, it's dark. So I do need to be careful that I pick a green that isn't going to be too dark where it actually makes the room feel dark, which is why I think this sort of lighter sage might work better. Look at this. Oh, I love this. Actually, whilst I'm on here, I'll show you my um, Christmas one. Oh, look at all this yes i'm thinking very eucalyptus greens whites winter wonderlands yes that is my plan for this year's autumn winter which is a bit of a pain because for the past two years we have been red candy cane and don't get me wrong like i've loved it absolutely love it and i am very like grateful that we've still got the decorations because we spent a fortune but this year I am thinking like winter wonderland, frosted, snow, sage green. Yeah, I, I'm just like super excited. And I have seen the most stunning baubles in the range. If you don't get your Christmas decorations and your Christmas baubles from the range, what are you doing? What are you doing? My house literally comes from the range because I feel like the baubles are so reasonably priced they always have the colours that I want. Like, they're so kind of like, they set the trend without even setting a trend because I don't think sage green is the trend, but they've got loads of sage green in, which I'm here for. Um, so, yeah, I am buzzing, which does take me on to that range box. I bought my very first Christmas decoration in the new colour theme. Who wants to see it? I'm going to open it up now, guys. Let's have a little look. Now, I did actually open this up last night, but I didn't properly have a look. Um, I do need to open that as well. Project Lip. That's the lipstick that I'm wearing today. They're not lipsticks, though. They're like lip balms, but they are so nourishing for your lips. I think they've sent me one of their scrubs to try, so I need to open that out. My H&M joggy bottoms I need to try on and make sure that they fit. And then this. As I said, I did open it last night, but I didn't properly look because the kids were with us. And they were talking about Paris and all different bits last night that I got completely distracted. But I also bought a new roller. <laughs> but... My first Christmas decoration is a white berry and eucalyptus. You know, this is the sort of green that I'm going for. Um, garland thing. I wanted one quite minimal because this is actually going to live on our dining table as part of my like Christmas um, table decoration. I can't have too much on the table because last year it was a squeeze fit in. I think there was seven of us last year around that table. Yeah, this year I think I'm catering for nine. <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna work, but when it comes to my table decorations, I need it to be quite minimal, just so that I'm not taking up all the space with decor, when I could potentially be trying to fit nine of us around the table. I'm actually considering, I haven't put this idea to Paul yet, but I'm actually considering for the first time, and I don't know why I'm thinking this, but I'm thinking for the first time, I might look at going somewhere for Christmas dinner. I've never done it. Never. If anything, I've always been anti going out for Christmas dinner because I feel it like for me, Christmas is at home. Like... Being at home, candles lit, music playing, laughing, joking, do you know what I mean? Just 
coziness at home is is me that's christmas to me being surrounded by your loved ones and your family it just you can't get much better than that but the fact that i have got we've got the kids this year so it's an extra two places our house isn't that big to like seat everyone for dinner like don't get me wrong it's it's fine if we're just mulling about and some of us could be in the living room some of us could be in here do you know what I mean? some of us could be in the kitchen we all sit on my kitchen worktop so half of us will be in the kitchen sat on the worktops having a few drinks um but actual sitting down for christmas dinner and don't know if i just don't know how it's gonna work i really don't and i suppose it's stressing me out a little bit but i'm never i'm never gonna say that i don't want to host because i love hosting but i am thinking how would we all feel if instead of us all like putting in for like the food we put in to go for christmas dinner somewhere like with like all of us somewhere local i've never done it before and i don't know how i feel but yeah that is an idea oh, i've got the hiccups that is an idea that i might put to paul we'll see if anyone has gone out for christmas dinner let me know in the comments whether you'd actually recommend it or not because i'm not sure yet i'm really not sure but it is definitely an idea just so that i don't feel like the house is going to be too chaotic because i don't want us to be sat in different areas i wouldn't i would like us all to be sat together and i just don't know if that's possible in this in this house but yeah if you have been out for christmas dinner let me know whether you would do it again but yes this is my very first christmas put purchase it was 8.99 from the range and it's just perfect guys it's absolutely perfect like the color of the leaves the white it's just exactly what i wanted so yeah as soon as i saw it i was like you're coming home with me so yeah that is the my very first christmas purchase purchase and I'm excited guys. Right, I've decided I'm gonna quickly have some breakfast. I'm feeling like cereal. And I never feel like cereal, but I'm gonna have some cereal and then I'm going to get changed because I don't really wanna be painting in my brand new coat. Cause you can guarantee I'm gonna be covered in paint. And then I'm going to paint the kitchen tiles now they probably won't look that different because i'm literally just clear, like <laughs> freshening them up and i'm literally going over them with the same paint <laughs> so they're not going to look any different but that is number one on my list today is to paint the kitchen tiles so then at least they're done and then i can sort out the vinyl i also need to take off all the handles um so I can spray paint them because the, some of them have gone gold where they were gold initially, but I've spray painted them black. So I need to take them off and re-spray paint the handles. I also want to take this off and spray paint that black. And I don't know whether I'm going to put it oh, here because I just feel like a few cups hanging here where our tea and coffee station actually is makes more sense than just having a random one underneath the cooker hood that doesn't hold anything because it gets greasy. So yeah, I, um, I was gonna go, I was gonna nip out and get some spray paint, some black spray paint, but I've got that many parcels coming that I don't really wanna miss them. So I'm just gonna focus on the jobs that I can do here at, at home. I'm also, now that I'm saying it, I'm a little bit like, oh, but I'm also going to paint these shelves. I'm going to paint them black. I know, I know, but we have paint left over and I just, I'm just not feeling the wood guys. Obviously there's still going to be wood aspects because I have chopping boards and all sorts, but I've seen someone's Instagram and they have black shells with the black handles and they look pretty delicious so the last job on my list today is to paint these although it is raining outside so i don't know how much i'm gonna get done but first job first breakfast 
and then paint the tiles. Then cereal and toast. I feel like my 10 year old self is living her best life today. Just started moving all the stuff and clearing the worktop so I can paint. But first, yum. And I'm sorry, but is that not the most perfect toast? Perfection. Hey, I'm fine. gonna get into it wish me luck guys let's go we got time on our side we're in a state of hope i need you on my fire i want you to know that every time you're away i long for so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Do you feel like right, That is the first coat Done and I actually can't believe how much of a difference it has made. It's made it look so much brighter. Like, actually unreal. Really. And I know you're not meant to, but these sides of the cupboards that no one sees, I have just gone over with the same paint. Now, I don't know if that's genius or that's going to come and bite me on the arse. But, yeah. I am going to have to go over these cupboards though because now that I've painted the tiles I can see that the cupboards are almost like a yellow as well so I'm just going to buy a white cover paint and quickly go over them at some point hopefully tomorrow maybe if I get a chance to basically the kitchen is going to be out of bounds tomorrow it's going to be a takeaway tea because we got we're not gonna have any handles the cupboard doors are all going to be painted and the vinyl will be brand new so no one will be cooking in here tomorrow but yeah i think that looks pretty good i do just need to neaten up there though where i've pulled the vinyl off and it has taken some of the tile paint off so there's gonna be have to be a couple of layers done here which is fine it'll um it'll cover up i just obviously need to let it dry first first job done now i'm gonna let it dry and whilst i'm letting it dry i think i'm gonna get my instagram stuff done because then at least if i get my instagram stuff done i have got all my instagram work done for the next couple of days and then tomorrow oh, i've got the hiccups i can really crack on with getting everything else done actually our blind i've got the hiccups so bad our blind has just arrived. It is grey, which I wasn't going to go for, but I didn't want white because I feel like too much white can make it look quite cold. So yeah, I went for a grey, but grey with like white and blacks and sage greens. I feel like it will go really nice. So yeah, I'm going to let this dry get my Instagram stuff done and yeah, I'll see you in a bit. 
Well, that was awkward. I'm in the middle of filming reels. Thank God I'm actually dressed. And this has all just arrived. All of this, <laughs> which is mostly cushions and an outfit for one of the girls on FM who ordered here because she lives in Ireland and it won't arrive in time. But can we actually just for a second appreciate this outfit? This is what I think I'm going to wear. Oh, to the orange bomb. This is what I think I'm going to wear on Saturday daytime for the FM conference. The only thing is, though, the skirt is massive. I've had to, like, tie a belt around it, but I feel like I could get away with that. What do we think? I actually really like it. It does need an iron. But, yeah. So I'm literally just going to ooh, film another outfit and then... I'm going to hold the breath now and then I'm going to open these. We'll open them together. All right, I am not even lying when I say my house looks like an actual bomb has gone off. <laughs> wow, the mess in there. I, I can't even deal with it right now, but I thought we would open my next parcels. Now, they're nothing big, they just look big because the cushions. I'm pretty sure I ordered three cushions um, and some tea towels. So I thought we could open them up together. I ordered two neutral ones and one sage green. So I'm presuming. one neutral cushion i absolutely love the color of this yeah i ordered two of these these were 18 pounds and to be fair these big cushions from next i do find i love um the stuffing inside doesn't always last but you can change them which i probably will do i probably will buy some feather inserts for these but yeah, I ordered two of these. And I'm guessing this is the other one. Two. And I'm guessing the sage green one is in here. This is the fro. Oh, oh. How cute is that? I think this was £12. But the colour, the colour is just perfect, guys. It's absolutely stunning and exactly what I was going for. You can tell. To be fair, I am quite green. Like, I'm quite neutral, like beige, grey and green in this house. So, that is the fro. And then that is the matching small cushion that is going to live on the black chair. And this was £8, I think it was. It doesn't actually say, but I'm sure it was £8. I just love those colours. Are they just not the most perfect colours? Oh, I'm excited, guys. Now, these, these should be the tea towels. I feel like I've got a lot of sage green, but I feel like these are the only things that I've actually bought. I haven't bought anything else. I'm just adding a few sage green accessories. They are stunning. Absolutely stunning. I can't think how much these were. I'm not sure. I think I want to say £12, but don't quote me, but I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm in my sage green element right now. So, yeah, that was my little mini next haul. Um, I'm still waiting on my Uggs to arrive. I'm not, they haven't given me a time. They just said it would be today. But, yeah, I'm going to now. I feel like I've not stopped. I feel like I'm going to tidy the kitchen, put everything back to where it was, sort out in the snug, possibly put my cushions out, and then I think I'm going to make myself a brew and make some dinner. <laughs>
feel so much better now that everywhere is more or less tidy. So I haven't taken the tags off yet, but the green cushion is there. I feel like it just blends in. And then obviously the big cushions are here. Thinking just like some two small sage green ones just to go there. And yeah, obviously I have got bits of orange out still, which I did say about. So yeah, all the orangey sort of autumnal bits, like the fro and the cushion i'm gonna pop into the living room i think once once i do actually change everything to green <sighs> but yeah i love it guys so i think my plan is now i am going to make some dinner make a coffee my new uggs have come Ooh! i'm gonna unbox them and then yeah have a chill before I go to our traces. You can tell the Christmas season is almost upon us. <laughs> Gotta stock up. Beautiful that. Gotta stock up on the tubs. Although I have a sneaky suspicion. They will be eaten. Well These will be Christmas. eaten. To be fair, we'll probably end up um, using one for Halloween, won't we? Yeah. But, but they'll definitely be for Christmas. They'll definitely be. They'll all happen. You'll go, they're for Christmas then, babe. I'll go, all right, yeah. And you'll go, these are things come get the celebration. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not what always happens. No, <laughs> not always. <laughs> they are good to have, though. They are good to have when you need chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> but now I start picking up at, like bits for Christmas. I do this every year, guys, if anyone remembers from my Instagram. I pick up little bits every single week. Little bits that will last either like cupboard stuff or I don't know, like crackers and stuff like that that I've got a long date on them. And I start putting them away ready for Christmas. And it just helps with the cost of like the big food shop. So yeah, that's what I've started doing with the celebrations and the heroes. But whether they last or not is a different question. As you can tell, the food shop's just arrived, so I'm going to help Paul put it away. And then I'm off to my aunties and uncles for a catch-up, a gin and some tea. Strong. And I saw you walking the Just little night with my auntie my uncle and my sister was there um i haven't seen them since i've been away so i hadn't got all my birthday presents from them which to be fair i wasn't expecting and bless them they got me the most amazing presents including a voucher to have a what was it called a day of memories voucher where i get to pick from one of the following, a bottomless brunch and a comedy night, a day paintballing, a spa stay weekend, or tapas and sangria on a canal cruise. So I'm absolutely buzzing with that. So I need to make my choice and let them know what I would like to do for my day of memories. Um, so yeah, it was just a really nice cozy evening spending time with them catching up having a bottle of carver of course and yeah i've just got home so i'm thinking shower pjs and then get into bed ready to tackle the rest of our diy makeover tomorrow so i'm actually going to leave this vlog here guys i hope you've enjoyed spending the day with me it's been quite a chatty vlog today and even though it's actually quite long i don't actually feel like i've done that much really but oh tilly's come to say hi um but yeah all the next installments oh hello if you missed me will be in next week's vlog which will be going live on sunday so make sure that you tune in then to see hopefully the full reveal of the kitchen yeah but for now, guys, I am going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for joining in and spending the day with me. And 
I will see you very soon on my next vlog. Bye.